What's happening guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So I've just woke up. Today we're going to do a bit like a day in the life of a trader here in Dubai. And by the way, my last video, which was a day in the life of a trader in London, got over 200,000 views. And if you guys haven't seen it, I'll put the link right here. So I was sitting there thinking, why don't we do the same thing again, but the Dubai version. So I've got some crazy stuff planned right now. And uh, yes, I did go out last night, by the way. And um, I'm sure I'll insert a scene here of what last night looked like. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of things planned today. I thought for all of you guys, I'll show you a little bit more about my daily routine in the mornings, my trading routine in the mornings, and what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. Got some cool stuff planned. Trust me, you enjoy this video. What we need right now is a baraka and a coffee. So, uh, we'll start off with the baraka, guys. So guys, I know you see a lot of people always post in the morning, they wake up at five, six in the morning, they wake up and do 100 press-ups. You know what I do? Every single day, I wake up, and I start my day with a Barocca and coffee. So look, there's my Barocca, and let's set ourselves up with a coffee. So guys, the first thing I do every single morning, before touching my phone, which is hard for everyone on the planet to do, I know, is I love to have a morning meeting with myself. And what does that mean? That means that in today's society, guys, everything is stressful. You've got loads of different meetings, you've got to worry about your career, your work, especially when you're trading, there is so much on your plate that before I wake up, and I used to do this uh, mistake when I was a bit younger, where I used to wake up and I used to, first thing I do is open my eyes and open MT4 and open the charts. And then the first thing I do is look at my phone and answer phone calls about work when I actually haven't had a morning meeting with myself yet. So, so a morning meeting is the perfect time where I talk to myself. And again, I'm gonna go out in a nice little view right now in the morning. And this is where you talk to yourself. You evaluate how the day before went, you feel about how you've been thinking, you know, it's almost like a little bit of a dear diary, but it really helps, but you have to have it in the morning. And this is a time where you make the plan for the day yourself. You control how your day goes. You control how many meetings you're gonna have. But the first, you need to make sure that you're good. You need to make sure that any kind of stress and worries, you can actually have a conversation with yourself, and then you start the day. So let's go have a morning meeting. Well, here's to do, to do this as well, by the way, for today, which I wrote yesterday. Now, as you guys can see, this will definitely, with a Baraka, fix the tango over. Um, so guys, once the morning meetings are done, I will then get ready to get in front of my phone and my computer. Two things which are extremely busy, but they're both are two separate lives that I've got. Obviously, when it comes to the charts, I've got a focus. I can't be thinking about any relationship, friendship. I can't be doing nothing. I've got to, I always say this, you've got to leave your emotions at the door. So when it comes to trading, I try to actually look at the charts with an open mind, with no um, other kind of motive in my head. And after that, I'll turn my phone on. I'm actually gonna show you guys how many messages I have in my missed call and my WhatsApp every single day as well. So right now, I'm gonna finish this and let's get from the charts and see what's happening because there's a lot of major news right now happening in the market. So I wanna tell you about it, let's go. I'm on a new level, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Brought me a new shovel. Put these niggas in the dirt. Chain with the new bezel. I'm just about to go through the trading desk now, guys. It's a very, very crazy time in the markets right now. Why? Why? Because America is two weeks away from defaulting on its debt. Now, what will happen if that happens, guys? The market can crash up to 45 percent. And so, guys, this has actually been leading the narrative across all the markets. So there's been some good opportunities selling rallies. Now, I'll actually be focusing on actually selling some of the rallies on the major pairs, which I will show you right now, and also keeping an eye on this whole narrative story about the default. This is the first time I've opened the charts for today, and obviously I've just got BTC open. But um, yeah, guys, my morning routine consists of the morning meeting with myself, and then again, before looking at my phone, I then come to the charts. Why? Because I can come to the charts with clarity. And I always say, leave your emotions at the door. So right now, my brain is completely blank, and all I'm thinking about is markets, markets, markets. I've got no other distractions, which a lot of people actually take into their trading. I've seen it happen all the time. Um, I've seen and I've watched traders, you know, do certain things because of stuff that's happening in their lives. We've all been there. I mean, you know, if you're trading out of anger, if you're trading out of stress, it just won't work out. If you're trading under pressure, it also won't work out. You won't be able to hold the positions the way you would naturally be able to hold them. So again, if you're watching this right now, I hate to say it, but you need to kind of become stone cold as a rock when it comes to trading. And after that, 
you can obviously said, you know, embark on other things going on in your life right now, but you cannot connect the two. I stress that very much so. So um, we're actually looking at some opportunities on the pound, which I'm gonna go to in a minute. And so, you know, me and Dan, which we're gonna meet in a minute, we're discussing, you know, opportunities on pound yen, on pound Aussie, on pound dollar, um, which I'll go through in a minute. And as you guys know from the previous video as well, my other job is actually monitoring traders. So normally when I finish up with my trading, my trading has to come first. And after that, I've got the time to actually monitor traders who have, of course, joined me in my journey. If you guys want to be one of them, guys, the link is in the bio as always. I'm on a new level. 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 So, guys, um, I pretty much finished up here this morning. Again, I try not to overlook the charts. And what that is called is analysis paralysis, where you sit here, you um, have a position, and you keep on thinking about it four or five times. Sometimes after years of experience, you've got to let your natural instinct decide what kind of trade you want to be in for the day. Whether if you're looking at a position from yesterday, last week, it's up to you. But right now, to be honest with you, I'm just looking at a pound yen trade, which I'll keep you uh, informed throughout the day. But now it's time to actually head out as I've got some fun stuff planned today. Again, a lot of people think that, you know, I've got to sit there for hours on end. I remember when I first started trading, I, it's quite a funny story actually, I used to have a laptop and I banned myself from going on YouTube, I banned myself from any movies. I said, this laptop will only be used for only trading purposes. Guys, the worst decision I ever made. So I know how to, my, my, my brain works, I know my personality. Um, I always have to have some music playing, I like to think on the TV usually, but trading is a part of my life. My life's not a part of trading, if you know what I mean. So for me, I actually use it as a tool. Too many people take trading so seriously where the more serious they take it, the more they fail, the more pressure they put on themselves. I've always adapted to actually using it as a tool. If I need to find money, I look for positions only that will actually give me the risk reward I'm looking for. I'm not waking up, sitting there the entire day and just got seven different currency pairs open. No, I know which currency pairs work for me. I know what kind of positions I'm gonna be holding for the day. I know when not to trade also. But, um, so guys, we're gonna hop out right now. Um, I was actually going to hit the pool up. I'm actually going to show you the pool here in my apartment here. And then we're going to head out for the day and we'll see what the day takes us. Let's go. So guys, today is not actually the most sunniest day. Um, it hasn't been for the past two days, but it's extremely hot. But I thought on the way down, I'll show you the view from the pool area. Again, because it's the day in the life um, for the past little while I've been here. Again, after the charts, just about to open my phone, by the way. I actually haven't opened my phone yet. I have notifications off. So I'm going to show you the pool area. Then we head to the car. And I think we might try and meet one of my cousins. We'll try and call him on. Let's see how the day goes. Let's go. Me a new shovel. Put these niggas in the dirt. Chain with the new belt. All my niggas put them work. Used to be sleeping on itchy beds. Bad bugs in the motel. Nigga, bitch, give me head. 20 bitches in the hotel. On a Roman noodle diet. Told life wasn't so well. All my niggas starting riots. So guys, I'm now, now gonna check my phone and my messages. So this is not built up only over one night, but I've got 633 missed calls there. And if we head towards WhatsApp, I'm gonna have to blur this, but 193 WhatsApp. So uh, yeah, time to get back to everyone. And I just got off the phone to my cousin and he's actually in town. And guys, um, this is one of my favorite cousins. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story about me and him and about some crazy journey we've had together. But I'm gonna go meet him right now. I wanna go to Nobu on the beach. We actually haven't been yet. It's a brand new restaurant here. Let's go enjoy the day. This cousin in particular, very, very cool story for all of you guys. I love sharing good stories with all of you guys. You guys remember them. You guys come to me at restaurants and bars and say that story really like helped me. So this cousin in particular, his name's Harvey. Everyone always thinks in our community, like everyone always helps each other and stuff like that. And sometimes it can be the opposite. So me and Harvey have always been very, very close as, as cousins. And I remember about a few years ago, I think he was a little bit lost. And honestly, just by giving him some motivation, he went on his own path, uh, you know, started his own business, he's killing it right now. But I, by just actually obviously like showing him that it can be done, because in my family, I was probably one of the first ones of my generation to go down a path that was non-conventional, not all about university, taking a bit of a chance. So once I did that, Harvey followed my footsteps. And then after that, 
I remember I bought a BMW i8. Guess what? Harvey bought a BMW i8. I bought the Lamborghini Huracan. Harvey bought a Lamborghini Huracan. Then I bought the Lamborghini Aventador. And guess what? He bought the one too. And I'm sure probably insert the clip here of him bringing it to show me. And then, guess what? I bought a French Bulldog called Pip. He bought a French Bulldog. And uh, right now, he's actually driving a G-Wagon. So guess what car we're gonna go see him in? In a G-Wagon. You know your toy nails, Uncle T doing so well. First class from a hotel, T first in 15. In the feds getting no mail. My daddy died and my cousin too. Then let him out of no cell. Guys, look. Now again, many of you watching this probably, if you don't live in the UK, you don't live in Dubai, you're trying to figure out, you know, what's different. Guys, I love driving, of course. I've got a range of uh, supercars and stuff like that back at home, I'm sure you know, if you follow me. But over here in Dubai, in case you don't know, if you get caught speeding or you get flashed, you know what you get? You get a penalty fine of money. That's it. It ends there. You pay the fine, as horrible as it is, you move on. Guys, in the UK, you, you will get your license taken off of you. If you get caught doing over 99 miles per hour, you lose your license completely. So uh, yeah, definitely I'm considering maybe shipping my cars over here. Maybe when I come back to Dubai in September, I need, I need to enjoy the cars out here. The UK is fun and everything, but uh, it's a different little vibe out here. Provide job for my whole block. I cannot slow down. Nigga, I won't stop now. Motherfucker, this is my town. Take the block, make it hot now. 143rd with the drop down. Icy chain with the watch now. Bone piece full of rocks now. Nigga, squint when they watch now. Leveling up to the top now. I'm on a new level. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on a new level. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on a new level. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Call me a new chef. I'm on a new level. Put these niggas in the dirt. Chain with the new vest. I'm on a new level. All my niggas put it. All my niggas put it. I'm on a new level. 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 Call me a new chef. Call me a new chef. Put these niggas in the dirt. Chain with the new vest. Call me some new vest. All my niggas put it. Surrounded by pop stars, trying to act tough. I got an activist, homie, nigga, and I hold up. They said that we couldn't smoke in this building. We fucked around and still rolled up. I'm on a new level. I'm so on guys, a new level. Um, just finished up food with my cousin here at Nope by the Beach. Amazing. This, you know what? I've traveled a lot. Been some of the best hotels in the world, as you guys know my channel. But boy, oh boy, this is one of the best hotels I've stayed in. Been in the hotel room, it's like £3,000 a night here. Don't worry. Of course we're going to just stay here. Of course we're going to do a vlog here. Don't worry about that one. Um, but yeah, guys, so we're a shout out to everyone that, you know, wanted like a day in the life of me in Dubai. This is it. You literally have the best food. You have the best views, the best hotels. You have the best trading times. You have the best everything. So yeah, guys, again, hope you enjoy the video. Come with the next one. Let's go.